Hello everyone, I arrived in Porto, Portugal at four o'clock this morning in order to make this Douro Valley tour that they were picking me up at 8.30 in the morning. So I had to leave Lisbon um, literally last night in order to make this tour. It's an all day tour. Um, we just got to the first stop, which is this uh, valley where we're gonna, ha uh, we're gonna have some pastries and then um, head towards the wine tasting. So let's go. Hi guys, so I'm currently at a cafe oh, yeah. and trying the traditional pastel de nada. It's, um, not sure what it is. It looks like a pastry, but it kind of looks a little burnt, but we're going to try it anyway. Like a, a custard inside, if you can see. It's actually really good. It doesn't taste burnt. I think it's just a little uh, crisp. I will say crisp. But yeah, so I have, um, I wanted to try this because this is a traditional pastry that you should try in Portugal. And I got some green tea. And then I have to walk across the bridge and continue the tour to the vineyards. So let's go. Hello everyone, so just left the vineyard and I got some wine, um, learned a lot, learned about a $150 barrel, so off to the next stop. Hello everyone, I'm at the second vineyard, St. Louis, and look at this view this is where they store the wine but it is so look at the hills the valleys all of that is grapes it's gorgeous here so i'm gonna try some more wines Just left two vineyards and now we're going on a boat tour on the Dora River that was built by Mr. Eiffel, same person who built the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all right, more wine and now we're on a boat. Hello everyone, I am still in Porto, Portugal, and I had an amazing wine tour yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed the view. It was, like I've never seen anything like that. Like it, it was amazing, the wines were amazing. I'm definitely bringing some back. Um, well, I guess I'll bring it back to the US. So I'll see if I'll bring it back to Poland. <laughs> it would probably be gone by the time I come back to Poland. But I'm currently I'm doing some walking around in Porto. Uh, it looks like there's like a castle behind me. Um, I actually think I'm probably going to sign up for like a walking tour so that I can get kind of more information on um, just the history because it just seems very like 16th century. And I just wanted to know more information. So. Um, I'm actually going to probably sign up for a tour, but, uh, so let me go find that. Hello everyone. I told you I would find a walking tour, but I actually jumped on a bus tour that goes all around Porto. It goes to the seaside where I could jump off and have lunch where it's supposedly the best seafood is. So that's super exciting. Um, I'm also doing jumping off at five o'clock for another wine tasting. So why not? 
Uh, behind me is the cathedral, which is gorgeous. I hope I get more information on the bus about the significance of this cathedral. But yeah, I'm super excited. Let's go. Okay, everyone, so the bus dropped me off at the coastline where there's supposed to be the best seafood restaurant. I don't see any restaurants around here, but <laughs> look at the coastline. It's so peaceful. People are out tanning, enjoying the beach. And it's two o'clock at the moment and I haven't eaten lunch so I'm gonna go find something to eat. Hello everyone so I missed the bus and had to take an Uber because I was about to miss my five o'clock line tour um, but as I was walking I had to stop and look at this view. Okay guys, I made it to the cellars for the wine tasting. I got five minutes, but I made it. Great. Bar climbing is always made with a minimum of three and a maximum of six. From this 120, we... Hello everyone. Uh, so I just finished the tour and I will say the Dora Valley tour was a lot better because you actually got to see the grapes growing on the vines. You were able to... Um, touch the grape you were able to see like the whole process and the wine was honestly a lot better it was like a higher grade of wine we'll call it like this um i would say it just seems like the standard like something you can get for you know, 15 or 20 euros in, in, a, in a in a store or shop um it's not bad like the port wine here is not bad but i don't know when you go to the Dora Valley wine and like see like top of the line and taste top of the line and then go to like a little local cellar. It's a lot different, <laughs> but still good. So, cheers! Hello everyone. I am currently at the Porto Airport. I'm finally at my gate. Um, I actually had a very, very bad experience at this airport um, with TAP Portugal. So basically, I got my COVID test yesterday. Uh, the hotel scheduled it. You know, the clinic came to the hotel. They did my test, um, got my results yesterday. So I was all ready to fly. And I came to the airport early so that I could do the tax free or the duty free for the stuff that I bought in Paris. And basically when I tried to check my bag, the uh, representative at tax Portugal basically said that my COVID test was not valid. It was not valid because there was no kind of stamp or some kind of signature on there, but there was a name that, you know, the name of the clinic, the name of the person who did the test, all of that was on there. So I'm assuming that they do a lot of falsification of COVID tests here because she was like not accepting my test. So basically she told me I needed to go get another test. I ended up calling the hotel and they told me that they've never had this issue before, that they wanted to speak to the airlines. The lady refused to speak to the, to the people at the hotel. So basically the people at the hotel told me that they would call the clinic and have the clinic call me. So as I'm waiting for that, I actually get online to get another COVID test, like as a contingency plan or a backup, just, just in case. So the director calls me and the director basically says that they're robbing me, that there should be no issue with the test that they had, that, that I already took, so on and so forth. 
So I go back to the kiosk to um, basically try to check in again. And they were extremely rude. Like they basically threw my papers like, you need to wait for the results. And I was like, well, you need to tell me what's wrong with my original test. That's number one. And they was like, oh, cause there's no information on here. I was like, what information are you looking for? And they're like, oh, well, your passport number's on here. I was like, my passport number's there, my name's there, my date of birth is there. Like, I don't know what else you need from me. And literally, she she looks at it again, and she's like, oh, my gosh, like, I'm so sorry. Like, you know, the other lady must not have seen that. I don't know what's going on. Um, let me just check you in. So literally, and like, I'm just blown away because I'm, I literally asked that lady, I was like, what's wrong with it and the first lady like couldn't tell me and made a whole big deal made me go i had to pay for another covid test for no reason um but i, I, I have it another negative test just in case i have issues in lisbon because my flight is from porto to lisbon and then to new york city so basically they were trying to say that oh like the united states doesn't take this this type of test i'm like it's what are you talking about like it's the same exact test but anywho I'm at my gate now. I um, we start boarding in the next five to ten minutes, so I'll be um, I'll be on my way home soon. Uh, just looks like this was a minor hiccup to um, the beginning of my travels. I hope the rest of my day doesn't go like this because this was actually very stressful and very annoying. Um, but to wrap it all up. Porto was amazing. I think um, my hotel, I stayed at the NH Porto Jargon uh, Hotel. Absolutely amazing. Like I, if I ever come back to Porto, like I'm staying there from the time I checked in to the time I left, even this, this situation at the airport, like they were so awesome. Like I literally called them as I got to my gate to just thank them for all that they helped. Like they literally got the director of the clinic to call me to talk to <laughs> to talk to uh, Tap Portugal Airlines to try to get this situated. So I, I'm so grateful for them. But um, yeah, so this is this is the end of my my trip uh, in Europe, we'll say, and I'll be home. I land at 3 p.m. today, Eastern Standard Time, so I finally get to see my family today. So, more to come.